Nowadays, the use of new methodologies in education is frequent. The question is, do we know how students perceive these methodologies? In this work, a tool has been developed in order to analyze the satisfaction after Microflip teaching application. This method is based on two phases. First, the student learns the lesson at home through online materials, and later does homework in the classroom through face-to-face -face activities. So, as I said before, the main objective was the development of a tool to measure the student satisfaction. And on the other hand, the objective was to analyze the results obtained in the different contexts where it was carried out. Well, in what context was the study conducted? The microflip teaching methodology was applied in two different groups. On the one hand, we work with third-year students of primary education, and on the other hand, with the students of third year of industrial technology engineering. The materials provided to the students for the first phase of the method were diverse. For instance, videos or slides were given. Then, in the classroom, tests were carried out on the videos work at home, doubts were resolved, and practical exercises were done as an example. To measure the impact of the students of the experience, two surveys were developed in Google Form. One survey was conducted before applying microflip teaching and the other after. Both contained the same question but with adapted verb tenses. The first part of the survey consisted of a series of general questions about age, gender, area of knowledge and so on. And in the second part, a specific question were asked about the methodology group into three blocks. Questions related to the student knowledge in a generic way, questions related to the non-face-to-face -face activity, and finally we ask about the face-to-face -face activity. We perform two statistical analyses with the surveys carried out. Each survey item was formulated on a five-point Likert scale where one was highly disagree and five highly agree. An analysis was carried out to validate the reliability of the internal consistency of surveys by measuring Cronbach's alpha. The same analysis was also performed on each subscale. On the other hand, the total score obtained and the scores of each block before and after applying the methodology were compared. Average scores were also compared between the two different groups in the sample. In both cases, it was measured by 80 tests of two samples. The different results obtained are shown below. First, we can observe a similar participation in the percentage of women in both grades. Regarding age, the mean difference is statistically significant. And with respect to previous experience with the flip teaching methodology, there are no significant differences. The surveys have a high reliability with an alpha value higher than 0.9 before applying the methodology. It increased to an alpha value of 0.95 after microflip teaching application. We can see in these three graphs the frequency distribution of each block of items in the survey conducted before applying microflip teaching. In general, almost all items have a high agreement rate, above 50% more or less. After the experience, almost all items have gained a high rate of agreement. However, these results are lower overall than in the initial survey. One possible explanation may be that after the experience, engineering students have obtained scores below the initials. With respect to the total score obtained in the questionnaires separating by groups, primary education students obtained significantly higher means values. In addition, this situation was reinforced after the application of microflip teaching. Analyzing the surveys by blocks, elementary school students show significantly higher scores than engineering students in two of three blocks. To conclude, emphasize the good internal reliability of the tool developed to measure the impact of the experience carried out. In addition, we must highlight the high degree of satisfaction of the students after the application of microflip teaching. However, it's true that an imitation of the study may be the difference between the groups taken as a sample. So, for future studies, it will be convenient to carry out the experience with a more similar profile of the students. Finally, we would also like to carry out other measurements, such as the motivation of the students with the teacher prior to the application of new methodologies. Thank you so much.